Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Ali A, thank you very much for tuning in for another Call of Duty Ghost Black Ops 2 Modern Warfare video. Today, we're going to be covering new DLC for Black Ops 2, it's going to be coming out literally tomorrow, so a day after this video is going to be going up on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys and letting you know what all the DLC is all about, then tomorrow I'm going to be covering it all here on my channel for you guys so you can actually see it in action. So for those of you guys that don't know, earlier this year Black Ops 2 launched some new DLC packages, specifically camo packs. So not a big multiplayer DLC pack, but just camo packs. And it means that Treyarch and Activision were supporting Black Ops 2, um, even though Call of Duty Ghost is the latest Call of Duty. So I was kind of expecting, or at least hoping for some more camo packs for Black Ops 2, just because they're normally a very standout and very well done camo packs. And that's the case. We are going to be getting four more tomorrow. So let's jump straight into them and let you guys know exactly what they're going to be and how much they're going to cost. So they're going to be costing around about $2 each. I know a lot of you guys may be using different currency. If you just convert it to your local currency, you can have an idea of how much it was going to cost you guys. But $2 is the official price. And the first two camo packs, is actually Comics and Paladin. And for those of you guys who watched all my videos last year when I covered all of the Black Ops 2 DLC, you may actually recognise these. So, last year for Black Ops 2, there were actually um, several different voting options throughout the year where you could actually vote on which camera packs you wanted to actually have available to buy. And Comics and Paladin actually lost out in um, some of these voting campaigns. Now, the voting campaigns were done separately over the different systems. There was an Xbox campaign, uh, a PlayStation, and a PC campaign. Paladin did actually win on PC and did actually cover that on the PC version last year. So if you want to see that, that is on my channel. But of course, I'll still be covering it for you guys tomorrow in case you missed it. I don't think, if I remember correctly, Comics actually won on any of the platforms. Um, so it's going to be very cool to see that for the very first time. But you will recognize the name from last year. Now, on top of that, we have two more camo packs because, as I said, there are going to be four in total. And the next two are brand new. And I'm really looking forward to them personally. So the first one is UK Punk. It's inspired by the metal studded 1970s of a UK Punk rock scene. And you've got the Great Britain flag on the side of the Peacekeeper within the image you can see on screen here. Um, I actually am kind of excited to use this and interested to find out what the actual reticules would be like on this weapon because of course in Black Ops 2 you have several different reticules that are included within the camera packs. You've got, if I remember correctly, Reflex, ACOG, Cog, and I think Hybrid as well. So uh, I'll be covering all of those tomorrow. It's going to be interesting to see what the player cards like. I assume we're going to get the um, Great British flag again. I'm a UK person. I'm looking forward to that. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Next up, we've got another cool one based off of another Zombies map. Now, I always love the zombies um, camos on Black Ops 2, they always stand out. And if you remember last time when we got weaponized 115 for Black Ops 2, it was phenomenal. It was a glowing green camo. I loved it and a lot of you guys loved it. And this one is called Afterlife. Afterlife is based and harnessed around the spirit of Alcatraz inspired from uh, Black Ops 2 Mob of the Dead DLC map, Zombies map. For those of you guys that remember that, it's got a very cool blue tint to it with sort of like silver lines going in between. I hope it looks um, and gives the 3D effect that we got within Weaponized 115. And knowing Treyarch and how well they've done their camo packs um, in the past, I'm sure it will look fantastic. Now, as I did mention briefly with the UK Punk pack, all of these camo packs come alongside of additional reticules, um, additional player cards, and all of that good stuff. So I'll cover all of that for you guys in one big video tomorrow, so make sure you're staying tuned for that. I do want to throw in that although we're talking about Black Ops 2 camos right now, um, and you guys can let me know which ones you're or looking forward to in the comment section. Uh, there will be a lot of news, I'm pretty sure, for the new Call of Duty game, Call of Duty 2014. The official name we do not know quite yet. This week, or these literally coming few days, few hours, I'm sure we're going to be getting information very, very soon. Uh, if you didn't see my last video talking about Call of Duty 2014, I explained why we're going to be getting information very, very soon. So stay tuned on this channel. Big things are coming very, very soon. So let me know what you guys think of these brand new Black Ops 2 camera packs. Make sure you stay tuned tomorrow for all the coverage of the camera packs. On screen here, you can check out more videos from me, including a live commentary using one of the new Call of Duty Ghost camos, the weed camo pack, or called Blunt Force. You can also check out videos over on my second channel. But cheers for watching, guys, and I'll see you on my next video.